just about set for the second half of action from PNC Stadium in Houston, Texas. Joe Malfi here with you this evening on Twitch as North Carolina Courage and Houston Dash are tied at one after 45. 32 degrees this evening, 27 kilometers per hour in the wind. Shadow is creeping across the field as the sun sets and with that cooler temperatures emerge. It was Gianna Ordonez in the 24th minute and then Rachel Daly 45 plus six as North Carolina went up and Houston equalized in that first half. Houston in the orange from left to right, North Carolina in the white from right to left. Matthew Corrigan in the green will send us on our way once more at PNC Stadium. And that one sub in the first half, Kelsey Hedge out injured Marissa Vigiano into the match. We'll get you any subs as they come along. Angel City and Gotham have picked up. We'll keep you updated on that game as well. O.L. Rain took down San Diego earlier. A score of 1-0. Forty-five down, forty-five to go, and here we go in the second half between North Carolina and Houston. North Carolina began the all-time series between these two clubs with eight wins, and there was one draw. It took Houston until the tenth try to finally beat North Carolina. And they've done so now on three instances in a row. Going back to October of 2020. Followed it up with two regular season wins last year. to deliver the free kick. Goes short to O'Sullivan. Back for Dabinia. Plenty of bodies in the box sent centrally. And a foul coming out the other way. For the analytically inclined who enjoy some of the deeper stats, expected goals in the first half, 1.04 for Houston. 0.33 for North Carolina. But it's a game played in real goals, not expected goals. And in real goals, it's 1-1. Just an indicator of Houston having had the better of play, having had the better of the opportunities. But it's a matter of how many you can capitalize on. And at the end of the day, it's one apiece. back for Casey Murphy. Here's Prince down the wing. No other orange jersey in the picture until now as Daly joins, but Prince miss hits. Yeah. 0 and 3 start to the season for North Carolina. Even one point. And seeing the zero leave the point column would be big mentally. Another in this second half. And hold on. Such a stark contrast to what they did in the Challenge Cup, where they played a grand total of eight matches, six in the course of group play, and then of course the two knockout games. They won five, they drew three, they went undefeated in the Challenge Cup.
only to lose their first three out of the shoot in the regular season. Offside, flag up. Chapman, cuts it back, rather Sanchez, excuse me, Sanchez delivery, Murphy is there. Houston conceded in the first half of every Challenge Cup game they played, but in their first four regular season games did not concede a Sullivan and Pickett go back and forth. Pickett led with five assists last year. This slowed the beginning of her regular season. Daly, a nifty turn, past Urseg. But nobody there to help her, she has to go backward with it. That's happened on a handful of occasions tonight for Houston, whether it's Prince or Daly going forward. They make that first move, that nice move to get into some space, and then they look around. Injury kept Casey Murphy out through the Challenge Cup. Twice, despite their eight shots. Ball floated in all the way through. Meandering start to the second half for both teams. After a first half that saw a lot of action back and forth. Dangerously played around the back by Houston. And finally, North Carolina won it only briefly before it deflects off Pickett and out of play. Groom perfectly weighted through.
Carolina preparing a sub. Brianna Pinto will be checking in for Emily Gray. If what we are being unofficially told turns out to be accurate, still plenty of time to make a last minute change of heart, of course, if you're Sean Nahas. Berkeley. Now Dabinia. Strong out in front of Vigiano, but skips out for a throw. Pinto, third overall pick last year by Gotham. Only appeared in 10 matches for a grand total of 204 minutes. But she had a stellar collegiate career at UNC. Hometown is Durham, North Carolina. And now she gets to play professionally in North Carolina. U.S. Soccer Young Female Player of the Year in 2019. Has been in a number of youth national team camps from U17 all the way up to U23. And with the way she started at Gotham, unable to crack the lineup amid the other players in front of her with the style they played for the midseason coaching change, just not on steady ground has found that in North Carolina. Smith, back for Vigiano. Turn from Sanchez, off of Matthias for the throw in. Sanchez for Groom. Into Daly, always a threat to strike from distance, but they didn't give her any room. And Pinto comes away with it. Pick it. Characteristically given away. Well done by Sanchez to keep that alive. Plenty of numbers forward, but the ball not weighted properly. Maybe the wrong choice going for Daly. Although you could tell she mishit it, so maybe Daly was not the intended target in the end after all. But an opportunity squandered after the giveaway by North Carolina. Some sustained possession from Houston, and just like that.
by Kurtz. Turn from Ordonez, hasn't done much on the ball aside from her goal, but that's part of a larger issue of Slips on the strike. All the way to Sanchez on the left side. Advantage is played. Chance brewing for Houston. There, but the ball never made contact with the player. Flipped all the way through to Sanchez. Put her head down, laces through it. Murphy alert at the near post. One hour has been played, one half hour remains. It's one to one between Houston and North Carolina at PNC Stadium in Houston, Texas. Joe Malfa with you this evening on Twitch. corner, that's a lot to be desired. Recycled by Houston. Chapman keeps it in, goes down. The assistant referee was signaling for a throw North Carolina's way, but Matthew Corrigan gives the foul and a free kick to Houston. The two are talking it over now. Corrigan saw the foul before. Been a dangerous cross here. Rachel Daly will come over for a look with Sanchez. You always like the in swinger here. If you can weight it perfectly toward that back post, put it in that corridor of uncertainty where a touch and it could go in, no touch, it could also go in, keeps the goalkeeper in an awkward spot. But Daly is so good on the ball. He'll take that I know it's customary to have two players over a free kick like that. One with the right foot, one with the left foot, so that you keep the goalkeeper honest and they can't cheat toward an in-swinger or an out-swinger. But if you're Houston, there has to be another right-footed player on the team who can stand over that so that you can get your best goal scorer, Rachel Daly, in the mix instead. She was completely taken out of that play as a decoy. On a set piece with under a half an hour remaining. Sock clears to Daly, now Sanchez. Each attack tonight for Houston has been quick strike on the counter, at least their most dangerous ones. But that one, before it could become a quick strike counter, becomes a quickly... O'Sullivan. Now Pickett, Pinto calling for it. Pickett goes instead off the left side to Daniels. Put it across, but nobody ever came into it. Ordonez made a back post run, turned around and looked immediately at Merritt Mathias. It seemed Ordonez thought Mathias would be charging near post. So she vacated and went back post, but a miscommunication leads to a very easy service to deal with.
Kaylee Kurtz. Diagonal ball over the top, but again, nobody on the end of it for North Carolina. Pickett fighting to win it back. At the very least, forcing Houston to deal with the throw in deep in their own corner. Only 23% of the match has been played in the attacking third for North Carolina. A lot of their possession is just empty calorie possession among their back line or in the midfield. They have almost 60% of the ball. They only have five shots, two on target to show for it. Go Houston, chance ring up as the dash start to close in here on North Carolina with the pressure. But they're all those white jerseys who are behind the ball in the defensive third, trying to keep it alive. While Houston sent all those orange jerseys forward. It didn't amount to anything in the end, and it's right back to possession for North Carolina. But curious to see, given all the possession North Carolina has had, if that might be a more permanent switch here. Officially diagnosed as a knee injury for Kelsey Hedge, who left the match at the end of the first half. That's still the lone sub used by Houston when Vigiano subbed in. On the other side, Brianna Pinto came into the match for Gray in this second half. So both sides have used one sub and one substitution window. So four subs, two windows. Pinto trying to turn through and find some space back for Dabinia. Foul against Pinto. back for Campbell. Same from Houston. The one that went in and another one that was not at all threatening for Murphy. And with so much of the match played in the middle third with North Carolina in possession, the most Murphy has had to do is just wander her 18 yard box waiting to possibly be an option for a pass back. Inside a 1-1 draw. That came 
in the middle of their three-game road trip against Louisville. Given away carelessly by North Carolina. On the counter, Sanchez. Fortunate bounce here to Prince. Prince still with it, nobody closing down on her. But the pass behind Shea Groom. Two matches already this season. We'll enter the match for Jalen Daniels. Twelve appearances last regular starter for the courage and then the spirit. But since then, 2019 missed with an ACL injury. 2020 played only three total games. Last year, just 12 total appearances. It's been a struggle to get back to that form with injuries and of course COVID playing a part. We'll see if she can do anything here in the last quarter of an hour or so as a sub once that change is allowed to be made by North Carolina. Michelle Prince going one on three using the speed. Prince still with it. No other orange jersey in the picture. Battling her way through and taken away. It's an uphill battle when you find yourself like that all alone on an island with three defenders around. Gave it a run, but too much to handle in the end. side. Here's Vigiano. Taken down, free kick on the way. And from this side of the field, you imagine it will be Rachel Daly on the service. And she come up with a moment here. Here comes Smith for Daniels. searching for a fourth straight victory in the all-time series between these two clubs. In the first nine meetings, eight North Carolina wins and a draw, and three Houston wins after. North Carolina went undefeated in the Challenge Cup. Five wins, three draws. But no wins, no draws, three losses to start the regular season in danger. Was that the chance for Houston? A second hydration break looms before we get into the home stretch of this match. Was that their chance to go ahead two to one and have to muster up just 15 minutes of defensive effort to earn another three points? They picked up seven of their last nine possible points, all of which came on the road. losses. Their head coach James Clarkson currently on leave. 
with Sarah Loudon in charge. And all of a sudden, things have turned around for Houston. Here is that second half hydration break. Once we come out of this hydro break, three subs remain for North Carolina. Four subs remain for Houston. This was the first goal of the match. drafts her first career goal in front of family and friends here in Texas played collegiately in Virginia now professionally in North Carolina against her first career goal in her home state and on the other end somebody who is well in tune with scoring in this league Rachel Daly in her 100th career regular season appearance for Houston gets goal number 41 in a Houston kit up for Houston, a home game this coming Friday against Orlando. Then nine days off before a home game on the Sunday, the 12th, against Portland. Midweek road trip to LA to face Angel City, and then a cross-country flight to face North Carolina on June 9th. game against Houston on the 19th. That call often. And Rachel Daly is someone who has at times not been on the best of terms with the referee, so that probably won't help their relationship. Schmidt, who just missed that chance before the hydration break off the set piece. Top looking for Prince. Stadium. A goal aside at the moment would amount to a point aside. Can either side pick up another goal and an additional two points in the process? Pinto. Smith. Appears that Houston is preparing a pair of substitutions next chance they get. Sabina, too much on it for Ardonez.
charge goes down. Free kick or penalty? Free kick right at the edge of the area. Good call by the official. Daly in a spot where she could very well go for goal. This lines up perfect. You know, Rachel Daly wants a chance at it. One goal already tonight. Three goals on the season, one goal tonight. Rachel Daly puts it toward the far post. It doesn't get all the way through. The rebound is sent wide. Checking in for Leah Berkeley. As well as Riley Bison checking in for Gianna Ordonez. sort of say will these new insertions have That's the league a one nil win earlier for OL rain over San Diego we have two goals split right down the middle in Houston and seconds away from halftime in Los Angeles Angel City and Gotham City are scoreless Total of three goals so far across the three matches. And at this stage of the match, you imagine if either of these teams can produce a fourth league wide, it would give that team three points. Quiet second half, though, in terms of shot output. Houston credited with three shots, one on target. North Carolina, one shot, one on target. This comes on the heels of an eight shot, two on target. First half for Houston, four shots, one on target. First half for North Carolina. A combined of four shots, two on target in this second half. degree temperatures and it hasn't dropped as significantly as you'd hope as day 